Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Sorry, the audio was pretty bad. So I had to do a voiceover, but today we are going to be doing flautas de papas at my sister Erica's house, who is back there in the back. Thank you for supporting our channel, Fancy Nancy Eats. And we will be showing y'all how we make flautas. Now, in my last enchilada video, I did get a few text messages or a few people writing me saying that we did our flautas a little bit different than they did. Sorry, not flautas, enchiladas. And um, here I'm just explaining how depending on where you are from, your food might be different from where uh, our family's from. So even though uh, they have the same name, they can be made completely different. But I hope you like how we make the video, how we make our food. And don't, for, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned. We'll show you how to make flautas de papa. put water and how many papas did you put in there? I put about six, seven papas in here and salt. To boil? Yes, ma'am. So right now, the, the way she checked to see if they're ready, she put a, her fork and stick them in there and they're still kind of hard. So we're gonna wait till this boils and then once it's all finished boiling, we'll show you how to do the next step. So as the potatoes get ready, we start smashing them, so it's very simple. The softer, the better. And just with the fork, you start smashing them. You add anything to it? You can add salt if you want. It's up to you if you want to put salt as it tastes. So once again, it doesn't matter what kind of brand tortillas you use, but for this occasion, we're using Mision. Put it in a little plastic bag here, about to put it in the microwave for um, sometimes they're ready in about 30 seconds, depending on your microwave, up to a minute, okay. okay, just to get them soft. And about how many tortillas did you put in there? I put in here about 10 tortillas. All right. So about, after what, 30 seconds to a minute? Yes, 30 seconds to a minute. It's just, you kind of know when you're able to kind of pull it apart and it's soft like this. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start filling. Put a little bit of potato, just depends on your, how thick or thin you want it. I keep it pretty thin. And you will burn yourself. Alright, so put the potato, roll them up as thick or thin as you want. And then what we do to hold it, we add toothpicks. Everybody does a little bit different, but this is how we do it. And we like to put the inside close to each other. Because once you put it a fry, sometimes if it gets loose from the toothpick, it just kind of gets everywhere, so we're just going to keep rolling. Frying all around, so leave it in there for a few minutes. Frying pretty well, and you can turn it. So we got more in there. get some of the excess oil out now disclaimer don't feel bad if some of your potato gets in the oil that's perfectly normal you can start doing that Mika have I have vlogs <laughs> Okay, 
sour cream. Like we said in the last video, our special touch, sour cream mixed with uh, jalapeno vinegar. Queso fresco, jalapenos, obviously we have more than that. Cabbage, onion, tomato, aguacates. I'm gonna kind of go around, show everybody. Hi, Irma, ¿qué estás haciendo? Tiene su vestido típico mexicano. Bata. Bata, a.k.a. Bata. Lucero. ¿Qué mía? ¿Qué mía? Say hi. ¿Eh? ¿Qué, papi? Hello, hello. Baby. Super nice. El contagioso está acá. Saluden, saluden. Y vamos a jugar lotería. ¿Traíste el dinero, pa? Alright, so. We're gonna start eating, alright. Mi pa ya quiere comer, so. So okay. my dad's hungry, so we're gonna make his first. As always, but anyways, this yeah. is how we put our sour cream. Kind of put some a little bit on every flauta. Again, it could be tacos dorados, flautas, uh, tacos de pa papa, tacos de pollo. Les pueden decir de diferentes nombres. Pero this is how we put our cheese. A little bit of here. Sorry for the background noise. This is what happens when you have family over. Okay. A few pieces of onion. Peel tomato. Add your jalapeno. And of course, more cheese. Top it off. There you go. <laughs> and ta -da, we're ready. Right. And it's optional if you want to put some salsa. I know some people don't care for it. Some of them do, so we're we'll just put in a little bit of extra. Yeah. There we go. Done. Tienes que probar. Ahí tienes que decirnos qué tal. Y esta comida, ¿quién la hace? Aquí todos tus hijos. Las hijas de la mamá, los pollitos. Ajá, esa mero. A ver, a ver. ¿De qué es ese? ¿De pollo o de papa? No, sí, de verdad. So, yo creo que ya la hicimos, ¿no? Claro. See? Alright, time for everybody else to eat. Enjoy!